an incredible event is getting unfolded in front of our eyes. We call this as a great alignment or you call it as a great planetary alignment or you call it a planetary parade like great planetary parade whatever you call it we should be able to see in front of us all the planets except the earth So if you get up in the morning between 4 and 6 o'clock, uh, starting like today until June 24, we should be able to see these things getting unfolded. So I lined up my telescopes here to show you the best pictures possible. When I say all the planets, I mean all the planets. So before we lost Pluto, as a planet, we had actually nine planets to uh, orbiting the sun. Uh, so even including the Pluto, we should be able to see all the eight planets besides the Earth. And even Moon is going to join and we should see the uh, ninth planet in front of us as the Moon. So Mercury is the first planet that you will see closer to the sun and it's pretty elusive. And this planet we generally don't see because it's so close to the sun. But starting June 14th, 15th, you should be able to see this planet because it is quite far from the sun and you should be able to see that in the morning sky rising up. And then you will see Venus in the sky. It's one of those bright uh, things that you will always see in the morning sky and you will never miss it. Going from Venus, if you go a little bit further up, uh, with using the telescopes and using maybe a powerful binoculars, you should be able to see Uranus. It's not, we can't see it without any telescope, but with a telescope you should be able to see Uranus there. And then we are going to see this red planet. It's so small, so tiny, but we should be able to make the red color out of it. It's the Mars that we are going to see and it's incredible that you are able to see the distinct color there for the Mars. Of course, the planet Jovi, the Jupiter with all its moons, it's very bright, very similar to Venus. We should be able to see a Jupiter. Next to the Jupiter, there is Neptune, but Neptune is only visible with telescopes or a powerful binoculars again. And uh, Neptune is available for us to uh, take pictures or see with the telescopes as well. Uh, then the ring planet, the Saturn, one of those planets that we always love. It's a little further away from the Jupiter and we should be able to see Saturn uh, as well in the sky. It is almost close to the southern skies now, starting from the east towards the south. And if you go further up and further to the south, uh, if we can make out and use the telescopes really well, we should be able to see uh, Pluto. And that's amazing. 
So these planets are getting aligned once in a while and these planets are aligned based on the distance as well. Like if you see the Mars, the Jupiter, the Saturn or the Mercury or the Venus, they are all lined up uh, from based on the distance. So it's like you looking from the sun and looking all the planets uh, like standing like in a chorus line. Pretty rare event and we don't want to miss it. I'll try to use the telescopes that I have. I take pictures of planets, comets, asteroids, galaxies. I'll show you guys anything new that is coming up. So please feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you guys uh, pretty soon in the next video. Thank you.